There's no shortage of critters at the Conrad Smith household in Whitman. With their great love for animals, there is always room for one more, especially when that one is a native desert tortoise in need of a home. But first, they had to build just the right habitat for it. Go down there and get up. So the things that, that we look for is obviously a burrow, and you guys have done a great job. We always want to see about eight inches of soil around the entire burrow, and that gives it the thermal protection that the tortoise needs in both winter and in summer. Uh, we look for a lot of shade uh, also for the tortoise, so it can have a variety of, of opportunities to escape the heat. And a food source. You guys have some Bermuda grass growing. Uh, you have the uh, globe mallow. Uh, and I see that you have at least two water dishes, which is fantastic. And you also have a very important safety feature of a fence that surrounds the entire enclosure so that the tortoise cannot escape. So how difficult was it to build a tortoise a home? Oh, this was so easy. We uh, completed building this within probably under two hours. You're kidding. No. And that was with letting the kids help and slowly fill in the centers of the blocks <laughs> for stabilization. That's great. That goes back really far. Christina Jones is the Turtles Project Coordinator for Arizona Game and Fish, and part of her job is to make sure that the tortoise the Smith family is going to adopt will come home to just the right environment. I think the tortoise is going to do really well here. Uh, there's a lot of vegetation, there's shade, there's places where it can get direct sunlight. Uh, this, is, this is going to be a fantastic home for a tortoise, a very lucky tortoise. Over the last two years, we've had a considerable number of tortoises come into the program, certainly more than we are able to adopt out. And uh, we think that it might have something to do with the economic downturn. A lot of people were downsizing from, from large homes with big yards to maybe condos, which are not suitable for a tortoise. One of the facilities that houses available desert tortoises is the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum in Tucson. They've been involved in tortoise adoption for over 30 years. You know, historically the museum has been involved with this before uh, Game and Fish really kind of became aware of the issue of a lot of tortoises trying to get placed back into the wild or, or back into homes. And we don't want the wild tortoises to be collected. But we also don't want the captive tortoises being taken um, from captivity and put back into the wild for fear of illnesses being transmitted to the wild population. Today, Chrissy and her two children, Sydney and Noah, have made the trip to Tucson to pick out their tortoise. Rather, to let four-year-old Noah pick out his tortoise. I find them to be really charismatic. They're also not quite as... Uh, time-consuming as, as your average dog or cat pet. You can go in your backyard, if you have everything that they need, if they have the food source, the water source, shade and shelter, mm -hmm. uh, you can just go back there and, and they, they walk up to you, they follow you around the yard, they're constantly looking for, for handouts, and they're, they're just an incredibly, surprisingly interactive member of, of a family. After checking out several animals of different sizes and weights and ages, one particular tortoise seemed to take a special interest in Noah, and that's all it took for him to claim his new friend. Oh, I want that one! I want that one! I want that one! Oh, we love to see families like this that really want to make that tortoise part of their family. But people don't realize tortoises can be very personable. They get very used to people. They will interact with us, follow us around. While desert tortoises are relatively easy to care for, adopting one is a very long-term commitment. Desert tortoises are native to the Sonoran Desert of Arizona, and they can live, I don't know, 50, maybe to 100 years. Uh, we haven't been studying them long enough to know their true lifespan, but we do know of at least one tortoise that's in captivity that's been in a family in Tucson for 102 years. You know, we definitely uh, enjoy Arizona's wildlife, and uh, we like bringing not just ourselves out to it, but if we can bring something like that home, uh, we will, and uh, definitely since it's helping uh, with the need for uh, adopting tortoises, uh, we decided we definitely wanted to do this. And it's a fun little family thing, because whenever we have a new adventure like this, or a new journey, I guess you can call it, with bringing in a new um, critter to the Smith family, uh, it's kind of that another bonding moment for all of us. So I, I really like that. 
So if you think you have the space in your yard and in your family for a desert tortoise, all the information you need is on our website. By the way, Noah named his tortoise Yoda, and he is not only thriving in his new home, but even has his own active Facebook page.